As more and more businesses grow global, the need to translate with your international clients in their language is becoming increasingly important. This need has opened up translation business opportunities for people who are proficient in multiple languages. And what better way to work independently but to become a freelancer? Hello everyone and welcome back to our Start It Up series. In today's video, we tell you how you can use your multilingual skills to become an independent translator. India, there's a high demand for translation in regional languages like Malayalam, Punjabi, Kannad, Urdu, Telugu, etc. If one of these languages is your mother tongue, you do not even need certifications to prove your proficiency. Whereas if we have to talk about foreign languages, data shows that Chinese, French, German and Spanish are the most sought after languages in India. An advanced degree in any of these high demand languages can earn you a handsome sum every month. For starters, freelancing is a better way to get self-employed. But as you get more and more experience, we will advise you that you build your own website and market your own work through social media channels and career sites. In fact, you can go a step forward and start your own translating agency. But that's another business idea for another video. To freelance as a translator, you can sign up with websites like Upwork, Freelancer, people per hour where companies post translation projects. However, the catch is that you don't get to decide what you want to charge for each project that you pick. Instead, the company sets the fee per commission. For signing up with these portals, you need to have a bachelor's degree or prior experience in the language. In the absence of both, you can take an online course with certified institutions or colleges. There is no charge for signing up on freelance portals, but they charge a commission ranging from 5 to 20% on each project. The cost of freelance translating are minimal. All that you need is a good quality laptop with a high speed internet connection. A medium range laptop will cost you anywhere between 30 to 35,000, whereas internet will cost you about 1000 rupees per month. If you want to create your own website, you can get it done with a one time investment of 60 to 70,000, and there will be a recurring expense of rupees 9000 per year to maintain it. Fee of translation projects is usually by the assignment and not by the hour. Translating web apps, and proofreading similar content can get you anywhere between 900 to 1000 rupees. Transcribing short interviews are priced around 1500 per project and both these projects take up to one day. Translating content on a website, press releases and brochures can get you 1000 to 1200 rupees. Even bigger projects like academic papers and translating lectures of 2000 to 2500 words are priced anywhere between 5000 to 7000 rupees. These projects can take two to three days. If you specialize in a technical field, you can set your own hourly rate which can be as high as 2000 to 2500 rupees per hour. For instance, say you have a degree in civil engineering, then you will be a preferred choice for coaching centers and colleges who want to get their lectures translated. However, this takes senior level expertise and you should have a portfolio of work to promote your services. Besides, to set your own rates, you will have to acquire clients independently and maybe even start your own website. So if we have to give you average earning, a translator with intermediate experience who takes six to seven small and four big projects can earn anywhere between 30 to 40,000 per month. Unless you start your own agency or website, freelance translating means that you have little control over how much you are paid. This can be frustrating sometimes as you might be getting paid less than what you're worth. We hope that you soon take the plunge to self-employment in the coming year. Stay tuned and log on to www.entrepreneur.com for more business ideas. Liked the video? Then don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to Entrepreneur India. Hit the bell icon to get notified for more such videos.